American television sitcom, Hangin' with Mr. Cooper, aired on ABC from September 22, 1992 to August 30, 1997. The show stars comedian Mark Curry in the lead role and takes place in his real hometown of Oakland, California. Fun fact, Hangin' with Mr. Cooper was one of two TV show choices presented to Mark following the extra attention he got doing an HBO special. The other was in Living Color. At the time, he was doing Showtime at the Apollo, as well as warming up the In Living Color audience when he got offered the opportunity to be part of the show's ensemble cast or do his own show. While for some, the choice would be obvious. For Mark, it was very difficult. After all, In Living Color was already an established hit versus pursuing the unknown with Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Mark decided to go with the latter since he'd have more control. It was created by Full House creator Jeff Franklin and produced by his company, Jeff Franklin Productions, in association with Warner Brothers Television, having been produced by Lorimar Television for the first season before being absorbed, and also became produced by Bickley Warren Productions by the third season. The show originally aired on Tuesdays in prime time after Full House. It found its niche as an addition to the TGIF Friday Night lineup on ABC and was part of the lineup from September 1993 to May 1996, spanning the show's second, third, and fourth seasons, before moving to Saturdays for its fifth and final season. Fun fact, the pilot episode was filmed on the same set as the mid-80s to early 90s hit sitcom, Growing Pains. Not only was it the same set, but it was the same everything. In the beginning of the episode, Alan Thicke walks onto the set and meets Mark. They exchange some jokes about Growing Pains ending and hanging with Mr. Cooper beginning. The series chronicles Mark Cooper, played by Mark Curry, a former Golden State Warriors basketball player turned high school teacher and physical education teacher for Oak Bridge High School. He later becomes interim head coach for the school's boys basketball team. Fun fact, in episodes six and seven of a two-part episode in the first season called Warriors, Mark really did play basketball for the Golden State Warriors. While the practice scenes were taped at the Warriors' home court in Oakland, California, the game itself, which was an actual preseason game against the Phoenix Suns, was recorded at the University of California's gymnasium in Berkeley. The scenes of Mark playing were not scripted. He did, in fact, actually play in that specific game. Mark's female roommate, Vanessa Russell, played by Holly Robinson, later Robinson Pete, is also the object of his affection. As the daughter of rich parents, she enjoys being spoiled by them until they cut her off from her trust fund due to her extravagant spending. Her and Mark eventually begin dating and go on to become engaged by the end of season four. Robin Dumars, played by Don Lewis, is Mark's best friend since childhood. She's the one who comes up with the idea to have Mark move in with her and Vanessa in order to make rent. She worked as a music teacher and often moonlighted as a tutor to neighborhood kids. Fun fact, in the first season, R&B Quartet and Vogue performed the show's theme song, called Hangin' With My Man with Holly and Dawn. It was composed by R&B record production and songwriting duo Foster and McElroy. Hey, yo, what's up? What's my theme music? <laughs> Also appearing in the first season is one of Mark's students and player on the basketball team, Irvin Rodman, played by Omar Gooding. And Mark's next door neighbor, Tyler Foster, played by Marquise Wilson. Entertainment Weekly gave the show a grade of C, coupled with a not so good, but not entirely bad review. This variation on Three's Company, Guy and Two Gals Share an Apartment, is lifted into the category of just barely watchable due to the skills of its stars. As the guy, stand-up comic Mark Curry isn't the silly satyr that John Ritter was on Company, he's a clever verbal cut-up, a solid naturalistic actor, and with his soft pudding face and long spider limb body, he goes against the grain of conventional sitcom leading men. As for his co-stars, A Different World's Don Lewis is the no-nonsense member of this trio, delivering her straight lines with dry humor, while Holly Robinson, 21 Jump Street, is required to compete with her own body, showcased in a succession of tiny, slinky outfits designed to provoke Curry's comic lust. Robinson responds to him with the amusing, drop-dead sarcasm he deserves. Curry plays Mr. Cooper, a substitute teacher plagued by wisecracking students. They're all bland brats. It's only when the three stars bounce off each other, 
flirting, jiving, and putting each other on, that hanging with Mr. Cooper is worth hanging around for. Fun fact, after one season of being more of an adult-oriented sitcom about a man living platonically with two female roommates, the show became more family-oriented beginning in season two. That meant that Don Lewis was out and three new characters were in. Interestingly enough, Don actually left the cast of A Different World at the beginning of its sixth and ultimately final season to be on Hanging with Mr. Cooper. The three new characters that are introduced in the second season are Geneva Lee, played by Sandra Quarterman, who's Mark's cousin, along with her daughter, Nicole. They relocated from Georgia to California and move in with Mark and Vanessa. Fun fact, in season three, episode 20, called The Matchmaker, Sandra portrays two characters in the same episode. She played her usual role of Geneva, in addition to the eccentric Aunt Yunetta. Nicole Lee, played by Raven Simone, is Geneva's six-year-old daughter. She goes on to develop a close friendship with next-door neighbor Tyler. And Pamela Jane, PJ Moore, played by Nell Carter. She's the principal of Oak Bridge High during seasons two and three, Mark's sister's best friend, and his babysitter as a young kid. A new theme song called Soul Man was introduced for season two. It was composed by singer and record producer Steve Terrell and performed by former Shalimar member Howard Hewitt. As some astute fans have pointed out on social media, the season two version is not heard in syndication. Instead, the season three version is used, leading people to believe that there may be some licensing issues with the original season two version. For seasons three through five, a third theme song version called Cooper Cooper was used. It was composed by Gary Boren and Stephen Chesney and performed by singers Sherwood Ball, Carmen Carter, and Oren Waters. You got to give it up. While the series finale in August 1997 premiered in its entirety in the eastern part of the United States, the West Coast, however, preempted the show halfway through as they delivered the breaking news story of Princess Diana's fatal car accident in Paris. While the network did receive some complaints, fans are actually lucky that they got a series finale at all. Hanging with Mr. Cooper's fifth and final season ended up not only being shortened to just 13 episodes instead of the usual 22, but they all aired on Saturdays over the summer of 1997. In the TV world, moving a show to both that day of the week and that time of year are clear indicators that the show is taking its final lap. According to some blogs, ABC had actually already canceled the show the year before, to make room for other shows like Sabrina the Teenage Witch. What was the secret to the success of Mr. Cooper? Camaraderie. You know, we were a team. We had so much fun, me and Holly. We would laugh so much on this set with in Raven. We would laugh so much. We would laugh more than the show. And welcome to the set of Hanging with Mr. Cooper. Oh, E.T. saw that firsthand during our many visits to the Hanging with Mr. Cooper set over the years. You guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Yeah, Five ready. seconds. Hanging with Mr. Cooper went into off-network broadcast syndication in the fall of 1996, where it lasted until the fall of 2000. In 2016, Warner Brothers released Hanging with Mr. Cooper, the complete first season on DVD via their Warner Archive collection, Burn On Demand service. The second season was released three years later via WBShop.com. In 2017, Hulu required the streaming rights to the show, along with fellow Warner Brothers TV properties, Family Matters, Full House, Perfect Strangers, and Step by Step, in addition to Disney ABC TV properties, Boy Meets World, Dinosaurs, and Home Improvement. In 2021, Hangin' with Mr. Cooper began streaming on HBO Max after its streaming rights expired from Hulu. Currently, all five seasons can still be viewed on the platform as well as on Amazon Prime Video.